uh, this is my Canon EOS EOS system uh, collection which consists of two major lenses which I love tremendously the first one is uh, a 100 and 400 uh, push-pull lens which I love and this is the version first and this is quite reasonably priced on eBay or in a used market so I bought this it's a very decent condition and it works excellently so this is one of my specialty lens of course uh, other makers Sony and Nikon makes similar lenses but I guess this 100 and 400 L lens is really special because of its performance and uh, and price I mean this original version the other one which is really unique and this is the Canon TS tilt shift electronic 17 millimeters L lens for this is a tilt shift lens as the name suggests so this is what I use for landscape architectural and a number of other this is uh, 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 other projects so this is absolutely a manual focus lens and it is so special that uh, that's 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 really unique Nikon has also <clears throat> some PC um, perspective corrected lenses but they are extremely expensive and this one this TSE lenses are quite reasonable I mean they are not cheap oh no way they are not cheap at all but um, it's not enormously lot of money so these are the two main lenses that I have in my collection and of course because I love film photography as well as digital photography I wanted to have a camera for them this is the EOS 300X which was made in 2004 and uh, when I bought this uh, camera it came with a plastic <laughs> very, really a low-end lens however this camera has a metal mount a metal mount ring the camera itself is really excellent so it the, its performance autofocus performance a metering and even the viewfinder is bright big enough so i'm really amazed the only drawback i have because this is not the date version it doesn't have <clears throat> the feature of remembering the exposure settings for example, Minolta has um, practically all of its cameras where uh, remembering, I mean memorizing in a, in, a, in a data memory card or in, in, in a camera of exposure uh, values. Uh, this camera has no such a feature. But anyhow, this is really a very small full frame. Remember, this is regular film camera and it's it's excellently small very light uh, camera for these lenses when I want to perform uh, film photography <clears throat> and uh, because I also love digital uh, photography you may wonder what is the digital companion for this film camera and actually this is a tricky thing this is a Sony 
This is a Sony A7. This is the original version. I also have the 7.3. The 7.3 now is used by my daughter. And then the 7.3 especially is, oh, it's, it's a brutally a brilliant camera. But let's <clears throat> talk about first this Sony camera. Why is it excellent for this, <clears throat> as an excellent companion for this film camera for these lenses, these Canon lenses, is that because of these adapters. This one is the Metabones EFE mount T adapter, which is absolutely a brilliant and excellent performing. It's not cheap, definitely not cheap at all. And uh, I love it. The other adapter I use quite often is this Sigma, yes, Sigma, Sigma MC11, yes, Sigma MC11 adapter for Canon mount. So the title said that design Sigma lenses only, but in practice, fortunately, it works brilliantly with at least these two lenses, especially on the Sony A7 III version, but it works quite okay, at least for the photography I'm after, the, where focusing speed is not of a major issue. Of course, because this tilt shift lens is a manual focus, of course the manual focus performance is zero importance here. But because all of these adapters are electronic, so definitely from the perspective of this lens and the camera, this lens behaves as if it were regular Sony lens. And, and for autofocus, it's really surprising that it works really great, especially as I mentioned, the A7 III version is especially works excellently with this autofocus lens. Yep, so you may wonder when I have a Sony camera why I'm not using Minota cameras as the film version, the film accompanying system. Actually I do, however this is a special situation when I want to use this 140. This is the only 140 lens I have and this is with Canon mount because this was a excellent and reasonably priced lens. So I'm a type of guy who is picking <clears throat> lenses and then I pick camera systems for those lenses. Actually these lenses is this camera cost me maximum 30 euros, maybe less. I bought it from eBay, Germany, and in an excellent condition, I th including shipping, it was maybe around 30 or 40 uh, euros. Of course, the Sony digital camera is a lot more expensive, but because this is an old one, uh, this today it would be, I bought this new, but today uh, you can buy one reasonably. Actually, these adapters are still quite uh, expensive. Um, uh, the Metabones is especially expensive. The <clears throat> Sigma is around 200 euros. But definitely, especially, this is definitely the most expensive piece of gear in this kit. Uh, I love it. I simply love it. So this is the reason I have <clears throat> Sony cameras with Canon adapters. Because the primary, really the, I had these lenses and I was seeking a camera solution, both film as well as and then the next question would be that why not buy 
a <clears throat> more expensive Canon camera because there was a reason. I wanted something small, inexpensive. Keep in mind that the best EOS one, EOS one V. This is terribly expensive. Of, of course, it's around five hundred, four or five hundred euros even today. And this one is a 20, 20 euro camera. And then what is <clears throat> really special with uh, film photography, the real value, especially on this, because this is a new camera, is the film. So this has, for example, in this case, as a slide film is included, <clears throat> I inserted a Fuji Provia a slide film into this camera and that's expensive so therefore when you are shooting on film actually uh, of course to a certain extent this camera has excellent autofocus and it has excellent <clears throat> uh, metering system therefore why spend more so I really belong to the group where I'm not spending small fortunes for film cameras just for fashion because I prefer the result and the result comes excellent results film uh, frames comes from this inexpensive film camera too with these excellent lenses